Hello guys, um, this is our first video tutorial about uh, Scipion and I hope you like this, uh, this idea. Uh, I'm going to present here something that is new and it's only now in development so you will not find this in the real production release. Uh, you want to try this and you need to check out the development branch and I don't know. If you are not an experienced uh, developer, then wait until we release the, the new version. Um, uh, this is a project, uh, I call it uh, Helix. Uh, this is just uh, not a real project, so I have imported movies. Actually, it's only one movie, and I did a movie alignment. I got one micrograph, so it doesn't make sense for actual um, workflows but for this uh, uh, demo uh, I think it's enough um, and then I have a picking so I'm going to show you uh, something new that is the linear picking so let's let's uh, let's do it um, I'm going to launch this project and activate the picking and you will see immediately that we have the same picking window uh, here you will see the list of uh, micrograph to pick in this case I only have one but you will see a list here um, and then you have here the toolbar and some other options and then a second window is pop up with the micrograph uh, itself so in this case you can see these filaments which by the way they're coming from this entry in Empire so thank you these guys for providing this uh, sample data it's very useful for us um, so I come back to to the picking and so initially you enter in a, in a normal mode so it means that if you want to pick this then you will so let's change the size of the box from hundred to I don't know maybe two hundred yeah, okay more or less so you want to pick all these uh, filaments or I think this are virus then you need to do this manually and it could be a bit uh, tedious uh, so the new feature we have uh, we have uh, implemented is the linear picking so how do you activate the linear picking in this case if you are uh, the, the mouse is over the micrograph you can you can press L and then you can see the the linear icon has changed and you can also activate pressing the button so now it's deactivate you are in normal mode now you are in linear mode so these are the two options you can use to activate the linear mode so once you are in linear mode you click in one point right this is the starting point and then you click on somewhere else and then you get the boxes um, as you can see the boxes um, are overlapped and probably you don't want this so that's why we have here the box step so in this case you have a box of 200 pixels probably you want the steps of I don't know 200 maybe let's see so uh, you can try again until you are happy with the results so now there's more space between the, the boxes and you can also even increase it if you want 300 in this case you will get uh, more spaced uh, particles um, let's uh, erase these guys so let's try to do some actual work here I press L again so I press here until this point Okay, let's assume I'm happy with this uh, step distance. So 
I want another filament, right? Happy. And what here? So now let's assume we have, um, like in this case, we have a filament that is bending here, somewhere here. So in that case, uh, one single line will not make it. This particle will will fall somewhere in the middle. So what you can do is to activate the continuous picking. So while you are in, in the linear picking mode, you click somewhere, now you press C, and while C is pressed, you can follow the path. Yeah. So let's see you have you're happy with this. Now I'm going crazy. And then you can you can uh, pick in like a polygonal mode. Um, I guess this is it for the linear picking. Another thing I would like to to show you is that we have improved the, the erase mode. So you press E, you switch to erase mode, you press E again, you go back to to normal mode, you press L, you go to linear mode, you press E, you activate the eraser. So the eraser has uh, has been improved so you can you can easily delete these particles, but before there were problems with the small particles. So I'm going to quickly uh, reduce the size of the particles uh, to, I don't know, 40. And then I'm going to pick lots of particles. In this case, I'm happy with the linear mode. I'm going to reduce the step to uh, probably, I don't know, 40. So let's pick a um, linear mode and continues with C press. You see, I'm getting lots of particles now. I want you to show uh, something. So we have all these particles here. Now switch to erase mode. So you press somewhere in the middle, and I press, I click with the button. So I'm, I'm getting only this uh, little square delete. Um, so if I press um, M for medium size, I'm increasing the, the area of the eraser or the size. So again, in the same spot, I can delete more uh, particles. And if I press B for big, uh, sorry, large was for the linear picking, uh, I can even delete more and if I press uh, X for extra large then I can delete more so in this case without pressing anything I delete in more detail but if I press X I'm going to delete like uh, increasing the size of the brush it's kind of uh, making it bigger so guys these are some of the improvements we've done recently and we wanted to share with you. I hope you like and enjoy the, this video tutorial. Thanks for watching and we are very happy to receive feedbacks, feedback from your side.